All right, guys, check this out, man. I'm gonna just put this real plain and simple for y'all. This is the earth. It is not flat 100% and it's not a ball 100%, but it is round as it's described in the Bible. And uh, the reason why I know that this is the actual earth and not the um, other images of the earth because this earth would explain how to get around in a circle and this earth also shows Antarctica the way it really is. Antarctica usually on, on flat maps like this they would just show Antarctica go around the whole thing. And that's wrong, that's great error. It's very wrong. It's not the way it looks. Antarctica is the wing of a dragon. And if you notice the symmetry between South America and Antarctica, right here, and right here, how they look like two wings on the back of an angel. Do you see that? None of the other places are symmetrical like that. Just those two. They're symmetrical. And this is what it looks like on the earth. That is a dragon. Right there. That's an eye. Right there. That's an eye. And right there. That's an eye. Right there, that's a mouth. All these uh, volcanoes right here on his nostrils, those shoot fire, his eyes have fire, and his mouth shoots fire. These are his wings, his shoulders. And that is why this is the real image of what Earth would look like, actually. And that's why they worship this image, a pentagram. So it's not just me saying it. There you go, right there. That's your Masonic, like Baphomet right there. Look at the upside down pentagram, you see it? Now you see it. All right. Now you see it. All right. That's them, that's what they do. So, yeah man. Uh, now, if you ask me, this kind of reminds me, it looks like a, 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 a body. Like all of it together. It looks like something was there because if down there is a dragon and those are the two wings see another thing see how Africa looks Africa that's a wing also of some other dragon from way back into the day but that dragon is no more obviously and North America there's another one and whatever was in North America, between North America and South America, was in the Mediterranean Sea. Remember how they like to show you how the Earth was all one big piece, Pangea, I guess that's what they called it. So South America would have been where Africa's at. See, the way I see it is, South America rose up out the water. Antarctica rose up out the water. Africa was original. That was the original Leviathan. And then he got his wings cut because of the sin with Eve. That was a serpent. He gets his wings cut as in heaven. It happens in heaven first, then it happens also on earth. He fall down to earth. You know what I mean? Now, they were talking about the dude night guy 333 on his channel was talking about he was reading uh 
he was reading like up on the Leviathan and they were saying it was two Leviathans. Now I'm gonna show you where the other one's at. This one's right here. See, this right here, all this, here. My bad, let me do this real quick. This right here, That's that's uh that's a Leviathan's head right there. That's something's that's it used to be, is not, you know what I mean? That and that's how he's described in the Bible. One who was, one who is not, one who is yet to come. So used to be is not yet to come. Here you go. There you go. All right. So he used to be, then he got his wings cut. They had double heads, if I'm not mistaken. Two heads, male and female. One got killed. Uh, you know, that's why your devil comes around like a Baphomet. So up here, where you see the Mediterranean, All right, so just like I showed you, it was right here at the, on the top of South America, how that would have been right there in that shape. That is what Africa, that's what that is right there. You see now? So bam, that's a dragon wing. Then Africa would have been a dragon wing. Would have been a dragon. Yo, who knows, it's probably a ridge, this ridge right here, it's probably where he used to rest at. I don't know. I don't know. I can say that. I can say it safely that I do not know. But um, yeah, I just wanted to, to make that clear that this is what the earth looks like. All right, and you can see all all the dragons and beasts right there. See what I'm saying? So there is a uh, pretty much somebody playing that mess. Going by in those uh see them over here in Babylon, they just playing this distraction music all day long. So, you know, somebody started popping and twerking while they watching the video watching this video. And that's a perfect distraction for the devil to get you to miss out on a lesson. It's just to humble yourselves, guys. If you notice, those plates with a division of the countries look like scales on a dragon. You see that? And that's just how they draw up their gods. That's just how they draw them. Scales, plates, coming out the sea and stuff like that. So you could almost put the Starbucks lady right there. If you turn it sideways a little bit, you put it right there in the middle. Her legs would be the two wings of the dragon. That's crazy. But um, yeah, man. Oh, and it almost looks like the man. I ain't even gonna go there. But I guess, I guess that kind of does look like a. Because you know it says the devil is the dragon lucifer is the, the the god of this world and this world is temporary this world is going to pass away and he's getting tossed tossed into a lake of fire uh it looks it let me see if i could draw on here so it looks like if you ask me that would be a, a right leg, a left leg, a right arm, a left arm, a body and a torso with the hips. And then his head would be somewhere around here and there's a head somewhere missing. You see? See what I'm saying? 
like as the earth as a whole like and and like the dragon would be like an organ and like each body part is like an organ because you know how they got the little baphomet little statue of satan over there in uh in philadelphia where he has like twin snake penises hold on let me let me show you it'd be like two snakes coming up around here he's got his legs crossed he has a, a hand up and a hand down and then he'd have his horns he'd be sitting just like that now you already know that he wishes to rise above the heights of the of the uh, rise above the throne in heaven and sit on it sit above the throne in heaven as God himself so pretty much if you're looking at it man like you're looking at a at a at, at what these guys like hold on let me go over it Yeah, it kind of be like the same image above. So, you'd have your double headed serpent. Obviously, I just showed you like the, the Leviathan was a twin and it got divided. One of them got chopped off, wings got chopped off, separated, conjoined twin. I don't know what was going on there. One of them got killed off, and they, and it looks like they're they're part of the foundation of the earth now. You know, from what we are looking at, and and these are spirits, foundation spirits. It said in the beginning, the the spirit of darkness was upon the face of the deep. Well, where would that be? The face of the deep is right there. Spirit of darkness. Is the Leviathan. But if it was in the beginning, he would have been somewhere around here. That would have been his face somewhere around here. You understand? Because this would have been his wings. But that wing got chopped off. So it just floated like a lily, I suppose. I don't know. It came like a lily pad. Uh, that's why you get they called it Al Kibulan. Then you got it turned into Africa, but that's to hide the name Al Kibulan. It it kind of gives a hint towards who was the king of of uh the, their little chief god over there was like Ak Akhenaten, and that's like uh corresponded to I guess uh Satan and whatever, but. It would be Akhenaten, and that would be like Leviathan, and everything in that region is like Aten, Aten, like Athens, Athena, Akhenaten, Leviathan, the Parthenon, the Gorgon. Do you see what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Like that's this is where all that comes from. Marathon. Uh, so the like. That's that's their wisdom is the wisdom of the serpent. That's what that is. That's what they worship. And we were that's that's Babylon, all of Egypt, Babylon. All the world was Babylon. It's, you know what I mean? And if you're looking at it like this, this is ancient like down here would have been like ancient Babylon, but I guess it was sunken. You know what I mean? All this out here was was was, was gone. It was it was it's taken away, I guess, and and just rise up out the water. You know what I mean? I guess I don't know, but I'm just saying that uh, if I can get this to erase some stuff, this is the way the Earth would actually look. You know what I mean? 
Like it makes way more sense. Because if you look at us naturally, and we're made in the image of the Most High, you know, like we got two arms, two legs, we're bipedal, we got, you know, hip and torso and a head. But where's the head on the earth? That's what I'm thinking about right there. This has got me thinking. Now, is the head in the heavens? Is that what it is? A whole nother, is there, is it the moon? I don't know. I don't know. Something, so, because Yeshaya, who you call Jesus, he said, I am the head. And the, the, the church is the body. You are a part of my body. So, you know, the earth would be sort of the same. There's the, the God head of the earth would have been like this, this, uh, it, it, the Bible says, you know, the ruler of this world is the evil one. He's a, uh, it's a temporary world. So this is the God head of the world. It's kind of weird, different, but yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess you would flip it upside down maybe let me see let me uh, rotate can we rotate this thing no there you go Well, damn, they cut it all out. It's weird. I don't know why they just don't just make it where you could just flip the darn thing. But anyway, man, you got to, um, you just got to know that that's where his head is at. Now, another thing is if, if this is not 100% accurate, His head could be sticking out up here. It'll be sticking out, sticking out about right. It would go into the earth and it would come out like around here. Around here. Because this is the antipode of his head. If you go over to Google Earth, Put a pin on his head, bam. Put it right there on top of his head, right? Well, actually, you see the eye above the water over here, so that's a marker above the water, a sign. So let's put it on the eye that's below the water. Put it on that eye right there. See what we get. We're gonna measure all the way across the other side of the earth and see where it is. And I'm telling you, it's when you get to 20,000 kilometers, that's the opposite side of the earth. And it's kind of hard to get it. Darn. All right. I'm at that point. Now, didn't I just say... That's where the head will be sticking out at. If you, if you, so, if the earth was a dome, okay, let's say we're looking at a dome. Uh, if there was a dome, well, there's a, 
So what we were told is there's a dome above the earth. This dude is down in the deep, in the depths, all right? So whatever the earth is sitting on top of, the, the, the land and the water is sitting on top of, this guy can go through it because he says it in Job. He says, I'm going in, throughout, in and throughout, to and fro, throughout the whole earth, throughout the whole earth. Like a snake goes through a skull. So he's he's able to get his head somewhere in all this. I don't know exactly how. Um, if, you, if you think about it it's kind of weird man because it's like they when you when you pay attention to earthquakes there is something to it to where it'll happen on one side of the earth and then it'll happen exactly on the other side of the earth with darn near matching magnitudes. And if I'm not mistaken, the biggest earthquakes in the world are around here. And around here. This is where the biggest earthquakes in the world happen. Alright. So now maybe okay he does have two heads, okay? Let's say he has two heads like a hydra. We're told there's like seven heads. Seven heads. If you got seven continents, you'd have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. They would say that that's seven continents, but that doesn't. That's just seven land masses. But now, if if you're saying that for this land mass right here, you got one head. You got one head. What if his one head was popping out of seven places? Same story all around the world. Same song. You get it? You feel me? You get it now? In and throughout all the earth. To and fro. So he's popping up here. Because it talks about him in the, in the Mediterranean. Uh... He's obviously got something going on here. There's obviously something going on up there in the UK with the with their Loch Ness monster talk. You got Nessie. Let me see, man. Let's call this out. Loch Ness. Then you got Ogopogo. Quats uh Coco and Quatsoto. Amaru. Um, there's definitely a, a, some serpent mound thing going on over here. Uh, 
They have their. Um, we already know that's there because, like I said, the Mediterranean. That's where it started. That's where it all started. It must have been a head going in like that and a head going in like that. They must have been facing like this. Because if you take this head right here, it's facing down that way. Take this head right here, it's facing that way. Now, I don't, like I said, I'm not an expert on this, man. I don't really know exactly everything at all. I'm just saying that for what makes more sense, it would make a lot more sense that you have, of course, a hollow earth with a serpent going through it. throughout the whole earth. But yeah, man. So as far as all this flat earth stuff go, I can't really get with that too much. It doesn't really make that much sense um, as far as a globe earth goes it's the most convincing but there's still it def it goes against the word of the most high so that lets me know that you still have to you know find ways to see what is actually perfectly matching up with the word this is a circle. The whole earth is a circle. You know what I mean? He said that. And you have your equator lines. You got it all right there. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, It's uh, it's all one body. It's all in one body. It's kind of like a, like a giant Atlantis if you look at it. That's how they say Atlantis would be like a small island with some islands outside and some islands outside, with water all in between like that. And then you have, if we're inside of this, and there's like a heaven outside of that. There's a heaven, you know what I mean, like. It would be on the outside ring of it. Out there. Above the dome, the firmament. Now, when it says firmament, mint means mind. And when I think of mine, I think of like firm, I think of like a skull. And then when you think of like a skull, you see how, you, how the earth is round. And they say the, the skull is surrounded by water or inside of the, the brain is a lot of water or whatever. Body's made of water. Well, there's your consistency match up with your scientific explanation of what the body is made of. It looks 90% water, 80% water. And then you'd have, or 75% water or whatever, on the surface, epidermis and all that. But then you see how Israel is right, it's smack dab in the middle of this. Israel is right there. You feel, you feel me? In the cradle. This is a, that's the cradle. Right there. Interesting, huh? So then, 
let me see. You have Firmament. I'm not saying that this is all correct proportion. I'm just saying that this is what the earth would it should, it should should actually look like this. And whether we're on the inside or the outside, inside of another, like a Russian doll type thing, you feel me? And that's what it, that's what I'm like from my my uh I, I was given some some pretty vivid scary dream vision lucid whatever you want to call it where yeah we're all inside of like a russian doll type of scenario where it's like heaven is like a mountain is is like we're inside all the space and stars you see up there is inside of a mountain and that mountain if you really think about it it was all white on the outside kind of and it kind of felt like it was a skull because it was all hollowed out, perfectly hollowed out. And you're looking around at the sky and the universe outside today. It would be hard to imagine that you're inside of a hollowed out mountain. And all the stars and distance and expanse, what you call space X now, X expanse is space X backwards pretty much. But the expanse is inside of a a, a, a a skull a mint a mind you feel me and like that's heaven for like to us we're inside of it but we're and then what and then even after that to look at earth and to see all this um uh, this this is something else man like hmm let me see something take a picture of it oh interesting I didn't take a picture of it this dude was uh, trying to break down the inside of a human skull and how it's supposed to be like exactly how the bible describes like the death of Yeshia and like all that stuff but it's like it's supposed to like get in on the shapes of stuff um it's weird I don't know how it didn't save it but anyway yeah man I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video for for today and come up and uh see what the word gives me to what the spirit drives me to inspires me to you know deliver to serve up because right now there's so much distractions in this world um, that it's dangerous you know what I mean to get caught up in the everyday um, quarrels of just nonsense like things that are, that are a hot topic but they're the way that you go about them are nonsense. You know what I mean? Like, great error. Like, you're not really working and solving anything out. It's just running around arguing and, and with baselessness. You know, not even like any tan, nothing's tangent. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's all hypothetical. Like, at least get some, bring some things together and, and, and make them fit. Put puzzle pieces together. You know what I mean? 
Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and and get off get off of this for right now. Um, who knows, man? Maybe there is gonna be another kingdom coming out of this expanse up here. Maybe the head is coming. Maybe the head is gonna come and and, and bring order after it destroys the whole world maybe it's going to be the new heaven is heaven head maybe it's going to be the new breath is going to pop up somewhere you know uh say it's going to come down on israel you know what i mean so i don't really know but maybe there's a they, they keep talking about new zealandia it's going to pop up you know what I mean? And New Zealand is from on this map over here. On the side. So, but they're saying a continent, they're thinking either the, the continent, of, the old lost continent of Mu was like right here in the Indian Ocean in between the gap or Lemuria would have been off the coast of like Japan and Hawaii or whatever. So they're they're saying that these there's parts that that sink and fall or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever's going on, supposedly we're supposed to be expecting a new body. If it's a heavenly body, or whether it's a, a continent coming out the abyss. We already know that this guy is coming out the abyss. So that's a fact. That's a fact. So that's that's proven. It is. That's the whole concept behind New Zealandia. That's his back rising. That's the back of him rising. And the waters are pouring off of his back. Just as it, it speaks of in the Bible. So, yeah, man. Like, you got to stay up to date on this. I'm going to see if I can uh, bring more light to the situation, man. Or shed some more light on this situation, my man. Y'all need to bring it. Light's already in us. Just got to open up the blinds. All right, people. You guys, be blessed.